Hello, I'm William Lin from 10th grade, and today I'm going to talk about Old Shanghai. Chapter 1 Back in the 1930s of Shanghai, you can see many forms of architectures from many countries, from France, from Britain, from the US, and more. You can see many four-wheeled vehicles, you can see many manpool vehicles, and you can see many people waiting in a row for buying breakfast. I'm Zhang Wei. I came to Shanghai to find a job, and I found a place to work in the breakfast shop. Today is April 21st of 1932. Today is my first day working in the breakfast shop, and I'm not familiar with the way to the breakfast shop. So, as I was thinking and I'm riding on a bike, a car is driving towards me at the center of the crossroad. Hey! Hey! Ow! I heard a hurried sound of footsteps. Are you alright? Asked the policewoman. Yeah, I'm alright. Luckily, the speed wasn't fast, I said. The driver on the car came down and scolded me, speaking Chinese in a French tone. What were you thinking, huh? Did you know who the person sitting in the car is? The boss of the police department. Now you delay him for work. How are you going to repay him? It's not your turn to cross the road. It was my turn to cross the road. What did you say? Said brutally by the French driver. The policewoman replied me quietly and promptly. Are you new to Shanghai? Here we need to compromise with the foreigners. Otherwise we will be in big danger. After all that, they have most of the control of Shanghai. The boss of the police department came down and walked to me and said, it's all right. You don't need to do anything for me. Just, boss, but shut up, the boss yelled at the driver, and then turned to me and smiled mysteriously. Just keep an eye on what's coming, all right? I replied passively. Okay, thank, thank you. The Frenchman returned to the car and the driver hurried to the car and drove away from my vision. The policewoman came near me and helped me to stand up. I thanked her and asked her the way to the breakfast shop. Thank you for your help, Dad. I'm Zhang Wei. Can you lead the way for me to the breakfast shop? I'm just, I just came to Shanghai a few days ago. I'm not familiar with the roads. Oh, you are working at the breakfast shop. I was about to go there just now to get myself a breakfast. I'm Ling Ling, by the way. Nice to meet you, said Ling Ling joyfully. Chapter 2 at the breakfast shop, the line is already getting longer and longer. Ling Ling hurried to get in the line, and I hurried to the breakfast shop and started working. Finally, Ling Ling came to buy her breakfast. One bowl of soybean milk and two fried dough sticks, please. One moment, I said. As I was going to give the breakfast she brought to her, a turmoil was starting at the back of the line. They accidentally pushed the person in front of them and caused Ling Ling to spill the bowl of soybean milk in my hands. The boss of the breakfast shop came out because of the sound of the bowl crashing. Zhang Wei, what do you think you are doing? yelled the boss. I'm, so, I'm sorry, bo boss, I said softly. Ling Ling stopped my atonement to my boss and said, No, it's not his fault. I spilled the soybean milk in his hand and caused the bowl to crash. I will pay for the bowl too. I looked at her with a pair of thankful and grateful eyes, and she looked at back at me with her eyes full of warmth. I felt a feeling that I have never felt before. I can't tell what exactly it is. It's just that I felt warmth in my heart and that my mind is fluttering at the moment. Here's the money. She gave me two yuan, which is more than the cost of a bowl and a bowl of swimming milk and two fried dough sticks. Thank you so much for all of this. It's okay, it's not big of a problem. Can we meet again? Yeah, I'll come every day to buy breakfast. Bye. Bye. I said slowly as I watched her going further and further away from me. Chapter three. For the next few days, I could always see her coming to the breakfast shop every morning at 6 a.m. wearing her police uniform coming out from the line, 
buying one bowl of soybean milk and two fried dough sticks. But today, however, I didn't see her. It's already 7 a.m. I started to worry about her. I want to go and find her, but it's still the time that I need to serve at the breakfast shop. Afternoon always meant free time for me. After I made uh, the ingredients for the next day, I was so worried about her, so I told my boss that I need to go to the toilet and I would finish my work when I came back, and he agreed. As I rushed out from the breakfast shop and started looking for her, I saw her coming right towards me. She is wearing a white blouse and a blue skirt. She definitely looks beautiful. Hi, Miss Lin. Where were you? You didn't come this morning, and I was worried about you, I said. Hey, Mr. Zhang, I forgot to tell you. I am free on weekends. Do you want to come and hang out with me this afternoon? I agreed to her request. We walked together and came to the second floor at the Chenghuang Temple to have afternoon tea. This is my first time to Chenghuang Miao. Everything here is too new to me. There is a bridge called Jiu Chu Chiao. This is a place for the elders to have fun and chat with each other. There is also a shop called Nanxiang Mantou Dian. It is said that people here are selling the best steam buns in the world. A waiter came up and said, Sir, madam, what would you like to have for this afternoon? Two cups of black tea, please, said Ling Ling. Right away, replied the waiter. In a few minutes, the waiter held a plate with two cups of black tea in it and bent down and passed the tea to us. Please enjoy. This time I'll treat you, said Ling Ling and she gave the money to the waiter. For the whole afternoon, I chatted with Ling Ling about our past, why we are here, and what our goal for the future is. Ling Ling tells me that she just wanted to work for the people for the rest of her life. She wants to try a new life in a higher class, but it was too expensive for her. She only expects to have a peaceful and ordinary life. And she's correct. Most of the people in this society at this time just want to play our own role. We just want to work hard in our given role and work together to make our country stronger. What I think is similar to what she said too. Do you have time for next week? I asked her. Probably, yeah. What's the matter? She replied. I'll tell you by then. Just come to the breakfast shop next week, Sunday afternoon. I answered her. Chapter 4 The day has come. The day I asked her to hang out is February 14. I bought a few gifts for her for the date today, and I want to give her a surprise. Last time when I went to Chenghuang Temple with her, I came back too late and my boss scolded me for not completing the work and going out too long. So this time, I finished the work I'm supposed to do for the afternoon and went out to meet her. Mr. Zhang, I was looking for you. Li Ling trotted towards me. She's smiling on her face. I can, she, I can see she's excited. Although she is wearing the same clothes as last time, but as the saying goes, whatever a beautiful lady wears will look beautiful. Hi, Miss Lin. Today I'm going to take you to a place you have never been to. Okay, where is it? You will know. Now get on the bicycle. She got on the bicycle and I started stepping on the pedal. I can feel her arms around my waist. We go by many famous places in the old Shanghai. Renmin Shi Tang, Jia Bu Lu Qiao, Da Shi Jie, Wai Tan. And, and then we finally arrived at Bai Le Men. We heard the song Ye Shanghai coming out from inside. This voice is from Zhou Xuan, who is a singer. Zhang Wei, are you sure we didn't come to the wrong place? Li Ling said with excitement and doubt. We didn't come to the wrong place. Here is where I'm taking you today. Here, go and change this on. I handed her a package and that wrapped clothes inside. What's this? You will know. After you've changed, meet me here. I walked in the toilet and took my working suit off and changed on the clothes I prepared for myself. It's a black lamb gown for men, 
When I came back, I saw Ling Ling. She's wearing a champagne-colored short-sleeved qipao with a flower embroidery on it. Oh, she looks beautiful, but at the same time, she's simple and unadorned. You look beautiful, and you look handsome. How did you get all of this? Let's walk and talk. When I first came to Shanghai, I was shocked and surprised by everything around me, including you, Lingling. Ling. I said, and she blushed. When you helped me in the accident and at the breakfast shop, I was deeply touched by what you did for me. So I decided to spend all the money I've earned from first time I came to Shanghai until now to give you this gift. You told me that you want to try what's like to be in a higher class, and now we've come here. So please enjoy this. Thank you. From then. We worked hard for another two years, and at last, we bought a house in one of the most famous Longtang, which is Shanghainese Alley, called Xiafeifang, and we lived there until. The date of the foreigners to own part of Shanghai is over, and they have gone back to their countries, but the architectures remained. Every weekend, me and Ling will walk together at the pond and enjoy the city that we both lived in until we're old and gray. Thank you for watching and listening.